Welcome back to another edition of Circle City Wiffle Rewind. We've got some midweek games to recap for you. First, Eight Balls versus Hounds. Mike Witte on the mound for the Hounds. A strong start, but Reed Werner would match him on the other side of things for the Eight Balls strikeouts in the first as we move on to the top of the second. Witte continues rolling, and Reed does the same strikeout on Hayworth and Dylan Jones. And another one on Witty. We'll move ahead now to the third inning. Witty still rolling on the bump for the Hounds, another strikeout. But then Cody House puts the eight balls on the board with a slow pitch home run, one nothing, eight balls here in the third. Werner would then get a chance with a runner on, and he hits a home run of his own, making it three nothing, eight balls. Reed Werner back on the bump, strikeout on Voris, another one on Hayworth, and would strike out the side, getting Dylan Jones swinging. Here in the fourth, Werner with a single to the right side would plate another run. It's 4 nothing, eight balls. And that would prove to be plenty enough for Reed, still without allowing a base runner through four. Top five now, Speak leads things off with a single into the gap. John Duran's the next batter who scoots one back to the middle. And then Reed Werner would go down swinging to keep them in check. Top five, another strikeout for Reed, number two of the inning. And then number three, three outs away now from a perfect game for Reed Werner. Witty on the bump continues to settle in, striking out the side in the sixth. And now Werner back on the bump for a chance for a perfect game. Strikeout for the first out. A nasty strikeout at the top of the board for the second out. And now one out away with Mike Witty at the plate. Strikeout looking. Reed Werner throws the perfect game. No hits, no runs, no walks. And the eight balls get four runs to seal the deal. Next game, it's the same two teams. Mitch Bias would be on the mound for the eight balls, starting things off with a couple of Ks, and then sitting down Voris as well to strike out the side. We'll move ahead now to the bottom of the second. Dylan Jones is on the mound. No damage thus far. Reed Werner hits a single to the right side. Um, and then Mitch Bias with a single up the middle. Runners on first and second for Cody House, who flies out, ending the threat. Mitch Bias through two, looking strong himself. Uh, no hits allowed to this point. Strikes out the side. The Hounds through nine innings thus far, yet to put a runner on base. Mike Speak would ground to the left side here at the bottom of the third. Check out this nifty behind the back play from Mike Witte getting the out. Really smart defensive play there. Dylan Jones would get the strikeout on Duran. And then Reed Werner with a nifty little flop shot here would net him a double. Looks like a hard hit ball in the book though. Mitch Bias, the next batter, would then sky out to end the threat. Top four, Mitch Bias still rolling. Strikeout on Witte would ground Hayworth back to the mound, who nearly beats out that ball. Still a perfect game for Bias, but Speak here on the other end would be the first base runner of the day, or for the game, rather, for the eight balls taking the walk. Duran then with a flop shot of his own, puts runners on first and second. And Werner with a ball to the right side would be caught, but would advance Speak to third base. Mitch Bias then skies out to the pitcher, ending the threat. Bias back on the mound here in the fifth. One, two, and three. No hitter still intact for Bias. Three outs away. But the bottom of the fifth here, Cody House once again breaks the seal for the eight balls with a ball that just gets over. Hits the top of the fence and bounces in the right direction to plate the eight balls first run against Dylan Jones and company. Duran, after a speak walk, would hit one to the other side. And then after another walk, Mitch Bias takes the walk himself, plating the eight balls second run of the game. 
Cody House with another chance, but the ball is caught by Witty. Pitching change here, by the way. Blake Voris is in now for Dylan Jones. Gets the strikeout on Speak, and then would end the threat with another strikeout on Duran, coming in to shut the door. Mitch by a strikeout, two outs away from a no-hitter, but Witty uh, cue balls one to the left side in no man's land. It's the, the Hounds' first hit of the day and the year, ending Mitch's no-no opportunity, but then he would bounce back with a strikeout on Voris and then a line-out for DJ to end the game. Great performance on the mound for Mitch Bias, allowing just one hit, and the eight balls supply a couple runs from a Cody House home run and some patient at-bats. Second slate of games here has the Moonshots and Swamp Dragons. Facing off, Austin Aulis would lead things off with a single first pitch or at-bat for the year for him, but then Smithy would strike out the side to get out of things here in the first. Taylor Carpenter on the mound for the Dragons would also have himself a 1-2-3 first inning. Top two, Smithy back on the bump. Picks up where he left off here with a couple more strikeouts. Carpenter, McKay, Dowden, and Smithy, and then Gurchev here in the second. Top three now. Landon balls the batter for the Swamp Dragons, goes down looking, and then Aulis with another single against the wall into left center. And a job in its own. Smithy would then strike out Carpenter and Ball, or Church rather, to end the inning. D. Louis makes it to first base, and then a nice running play from Carpenter stops Dowden from advancing. Then a strikeout on Gurchev. And a fly out, a great diving catch by Church. We'll take another look at this here, but would end the frame and keep the Swamp Dragons holding the Moonshots to zero. Full extension there from Church to end. And then one last look here at the play by Church. Top four now, Landon Ball strikes out against the Moonshots. Next is another base hit single from Aulis. And then Carpenter would strike out, although that bat is a double off the wall for sure. Next batter, Church. Line drive into center field. Would advance Aulis to third. And then Ball with a clutch RBI single plates the Swamp Dragons' first run of the game before Smithy induces the ground out to end the inning. Bottom four here, Dowden with a single into center field to get the inning started. Smithy would then punch one into left center. Everybody, Gurchev strikes out, and then D. Louis rips one down the third baseline. The relay throw comes in, and a tip by Carpenter gets the out to hold the Moonshot scoreless, but then a double walk for Dowden would plate a runner, nodding things up here at one going into the fifth. Smithy still cruising, would strike out the side. Carpenter then bounces back a couple strikeouts of his own, holding the Moonshots to no further runs. Smithy back on the mound, top six. A few more strikeouts to add to his total. And we're knotted up here in the bottom of the sixth. D. Louie leads things off with a hard line drive down the left field line. Next, Will Smithy rolls over one to the left side, but the amount of spin on that pulls it back into fair ground. Carpenter overthrows the runner at second base, which would advance down into third. And what a weird play here, but it results in a single for Smithy and a runner advanced all the way to third base now. Nobody out, Gurchev is the batter. 0 for the game so far, but lines a uh, fly ball to the right side, bangs it off the wall, plates the winning run, and the Moonshots would walk it off here two to one in a great pitcher's duel between Smithy and Carpenter. Two great performances by them, but it's the two runs for the Moonshots that do it. Next, they would face off again. It's landed ball on the mound for the Swamp Dragons, who relinquishes a single to Smithy here to start the game, but then bounces back nicely. Dowden 
uh, creates a nice running catch for Carpenter. DeLuise on the mound. Austin Ollis would lead things off with a double down the left field line. And then Church would plate him and himself with a home run that squeaks over the wall. It's 2 nothing now. Swamp Dragons lead. Make it 3 nothing on a solo shot from Ball. And then Ollis with a single. Lane DeHart would try to stretch things to third, but is tagged out. Next batter is Taylor Carpenter, who would fly to the right side. Look at the amount of ground covered by Will Smithy catching this ball nearly to the bullpen. We'll take another look here. He clears the crowd uh, and travels about more distance than we've ever seen out there to make the catch. Next inning, Gurchev leads off with a solo shot, putting the moonshots on the board. Dowden would bang a ball off of the center field wall here for a single. And then Smithy flies out to church here on the right side. Next inning, Landon Ball with another home run. That's his second of the day. DeLui gets a strikeout here. And then the next inning, a great ranging play on the left side to get Gurchev at first. DeLui helps his own cause with a solo shot. DeLui back on the mound. Good diving stop by Will. Doesn't secure the play, but recovers well to get the out. Gurchev is the batter now for the Moonshots. His second home run of the day for three Swamp Dragons. DeLui hits one the other way, plating a run, and we're knotted up at four now. Lane DeHart's the batter for the Swamp Dragons, who skies one over into left center field, stretches this one into a double, runner on second. And then Austin Church, after the triple walk by Aulis, scores another run, would strike out, and then as would land the ball to limit the damage. Top five now, Gurchev hits one into right center field for a single. D. Louis, the next batter, who hits one up the middle. Ball knocks it down, but is unable to complete the play. Smithy then grounds one to the left side. He would be out at first, but another run scores. And then Gurchev flies out here to end. Bottom five now. It's Lane DeHart, who flies out to Gurchev. Nice running play in left center field. Wallace would hit one into right center. That ball's going to find grass, and he's going to travel all the way to third base. Runner at third now for Carpenter, who pops out to D. Louie. But Wallace would advance on the throw. 6 5 Swamp Dragons now as D. Louie gets out of danger. Smithy in the sixth, Moonshot's last chance. Hits a single to right center, scoring D. Louie, tying things up at six now in the sixth inning. Gurchev hits a ground ball up the middle. He's going to be out at first, but another run scores, giving the Moonshot's the late game lead. D. Louie with a hard line drive into left center and advance to second, gives them the 8 6 lead. Dowden would strike out. Smithy's intentionally walked, and then Gurchev with a moonshot into left field. That ball's long gone, and the moonshots put the foot on the gas. 11-6 now. The bat flies nearly as far as the ball does. D. Louis would then strike out to end the frame, but he's back up on the mound. Induces the fly out from ball. Gets Lane DeHart swinging. And then also all a swinging to end the game. The moon shots close until the end, but they win this one by five runs, 11 to six. Gurchev with three home runs in this one.